Hey guys, good morning, happy Friday, and welcome to Collider TV Talk. I'm your host, Grace Hancock. Josh is still out of town doing his bachelory type activities, so we are here with Dad out of town being crazy. So tweet me your Twitter questions at Mrs. Graceface, hashtag Collider TV Talk, hashtag Ginger Mother of Dragons. And also, guys, don't forget next Tuesday, August 29th at 7:30, you can come watch Jurassic Park with some of the Collider crew at the Arc Light in Hollywood. It's gonna be a great time. There's gonna be laughter and tears and we're all gonna hold on to our butts, so don't miss out. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. Who are these beautiful people? Shanasti, say hello to the world. Hello, guys. Wow, your voice is so pleasant. I feel like oh you my could gosh, just mine. Yeah, like mine's like really like whiny and Valley Girl. I feel like I could just listen to you tell me bedtime stories at night. Stop. That's the nicest thing you've ever yeah, said to you me. Should I'm do like that. filing that away. Thank you. I'll be uh, narrating Sinead's diary later today. Who's this guy? I'm only human, after all. Don't put the blame on me. <laughs> Yeah, David I'm David Griffin. What's happening, everybody? The yeah, of BB. yeah I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> and several other very cool things. <laughs> All right, guys. So here we are. Uh, shall we uh, jump right in? Let's get on Let's it. Let's do it. <laughs> All Woo! right, so Netflix has announced the episode titles and the cast for Black Mirror's sixth episode, fourth season, which will premiere later this year. Um, I know that I'm super excited. Did any one of these stick out to you guys more than the others? I'm really excited to see Jodie Foster direct uh, Rosemary DeWitt, mm -hmm. like, a lot. What about you guys? I like the USSS Callister. Seems interesting. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's on a spaceship. Science fiction, so of course that intrigues me. It looks like some people have like some special powers going on in there. Yeah. Some weird special effects going on. I mean, these shows, not every episode of Black Mirror hits. It's like uh, the Twilight Zone. Right. So sure. you get a self-contained story in an hour. So they don't all hit perfect, but when they're on, they're, some, they're spectacular. I, I love the series. Yeah, I haven't seen every single episode, mostly because the first one I watched was like the pilot mm -hmm. with like the pig and the prime yeah. minister and I am still scarred it, and that it was, took forever to come to the States ago. until Netflix picked it up mm -hmm. now it's all mm -hmm. available for us to watch but yeah. it was on channel 4 in the in the UK for a while yeah but I mean it's so well done what are you excited about I've only for this? I've only really watched maybe I think I don't think I've watched more than like six all together of the show, six episodes, just the ones that people talked about and I was like hey, okay you guys have talked about it enough mm -hmm. I need to watch this but it's one of those shows that I want to get I want to start from I mean, I know you don't have to start from the beginning, but I want to hit all of these episodes because it seems like a show I'd be into, and I kind of like the idea that gets switched up, but I'm genuinely intrigued by every single one of these. Like, genuinely. I know, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, just, I don't even know. Black Mirror just, I, I don't even think, they could have been called, like, colors, and I would have been, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. I would be still be intrigued because what I have seen of the show has been, it's like that type of TV that, like you think about it like a couple days later and then you like yeah, wait to talk, yeah. to talk about mm -hmm. it with somebody and then when you find out somebody else has seen the episode then it like rehashes like all your thoughts and you're just like excited to like I have a full on conversation. You're like an uber nerd at that point. You know what I'm saying? Right. Well, it's super compelling storytelling. Yeah, like, and it's I'm, like, just like, relevant teeth, and I'm, like, too. It's like I'm super relevant. Yeah, some of the stuff yeah it's like, really yeah. relatable. You can talk about it forever because like you kind of get it but like you also don't get any of it. Yeah, that it's makes something you gotta like bounce it off other people. Right. If you, so, never, yeah. if you don't know if you've seen it yet, definitely watch the Christmas special with John Hamm. That that's the that's that the one good. that I, I have not seen that, but somebody mm -hmm. was just telling me about that last week. They're like, yeah. you are missing out. You have to yeah, watch it. Yeah, check this. that one out for sure. I will. That's one of my favorites. Yeah, well, we're all super excited about that. So, um, yeah, moving right along. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy filmmaker James Gunn is partnering up with Sony Pictures Television for a possible reboot of the 1970s series. Starsky and Hutch. Uh, so the original ran for over four years, 100 episodes. It was also a film in 2004 with Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson. Um, I mean, look, we all know how, we all know um, how this first works. First of all, like, none of us here were born in the 70s. <laughs> So I think we missed the original right. iteration of Starsky. Right, right, right. Wouldn't that be like a great reveal if I was like, I was. Yeah. Like, I'm Whoa. 40. No. Um, I mean, I think we all know that like Sony and companies like Sony, like we all get how this works. Like they yeah. have to continue to use the mm -hmm. franchises, otherwise they lose the rights. But right. like, I'm literally every time I even see or hear the word reboot now, I'm like, yeah. It's almost like just lose the rights, dude. Like I know. Yeah, at right, this I know. point, because. Mm -hmm. Um, the, that 2004 film, like, where I'm not familiar, obviously, with the original property. I feel like everyone, or mostly everybody, over the age of mm -hmm. 20 has heard of Starsky and Hutch. Right. Mm -hmm. You know? So, I, 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 it's like, okay, like, maybe I can kind of see where they were trying to, like, bring something back, or they could maybe see how this would work instead of losing the rights, because it was such a iconic property. Mm -hmm. Iconic, I guess. Yeah. In major quotes. But you know what I'm saying? But, like, that 2004 film, like, did, yeah. did anyone really care about that? Well, it's, nah. it's, it's like a different nah. property than you think about Lethal Weapon, which worked fantastic for Fox. I mean, Lethal Weapon right. was actually really good. It's a procedural, so they solve it after every episode. Right. Uh, right. But uh, Damon Wayans and Clayton Crawford have just great chemistry together, so it works. Starsky mm -hmm. and Hutch, 
it's iconic, but it's not as iconic as Lethal Weapon. Lethal no. Weapon was big blockbuster movie. Mel Gibson, Danny right. Donald Glover, or sorry, Danny Glover. Donald Glover is the, the his uh, son. Yeah. Atlanta. That's you his got this. Son. You got yeah. this. So um, it's just it's a bigger franchise. So I wonder if people are actually going to tune into Starsky and Hutch. Maybe they're hoping to get that baby boomer, which I mean, like my parents, right. that audience. Right, right, right. And who's going to pick it up is the question. They're, right. they're, they're just developing the show. It hasn't uh, been picked up by anybody. Yeah, it's not so officially going to go Amazon anywhere. can pick it up. Netflix will go for on Fox. You know, just like you know, who knows who's going to pick it up? Right. But I'll check it out. I mean, if it's like uh, the new Lethal Weapon series, mm -hmm. which I hope they have fun with it. Well, yeah, I was going to say it has cast, to be super light. And the like, cast has to be on point. Yeah. They have yeah. to be the right guy. So you want it to be like a procedural, like they solve it. Yeah. Maybe like an underlying mm -hmm. plot for the season as mm -hmm. well. But I, I think you're right. Like it has to be super fun. Right. Like it has to be hilarious. And sorry to say guys, I mean, it's Starsky and Hutch. They could do a girl. It doesn't yeah. have to be a guy. I know, I'm that sorry. would be yeah, could be a guy, a girl. An yeah. interesting twist. Yeah. It could be fun. Mm -hmm. But also, it's kind of like Miami Vice. Like I, yeah. they're doing that reboot. It's like, but are you going to lose what was cool about it, which was kind of like the 70s vibe? You know, like yeah. it's kind of yeah. like yeah. what Ferraris it was and, is yeah. what made it so good. So I don't know if that can translate, but who knows? So we will see. They're just driving around in like Priuses. <laughs> I know, yeah. On like Segways. <laughs> it's like, what happened to the Ferrari, dude? It's like, no, that's, that's not really fuel it's efficient. Really not eco -friendly. It's not eco-friendly. It's not eco-friendly, yeah. <laughs> they're, Girl, like they're, they're vegan. Green juice. Yeah, they're vegan. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like calls. LA assholes. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. All right. All right, so yesterday the fantasy series The Shannara Chronicles released a trailer for its upcoming season two. Uh, season one was on MTV, and now they moved over to Spike. You're those beautiful people. I kind of love. Yeah, they're a all huge fan. Did you know that? David's oh, I did a huge know this. Chinara I love Chronicles the Shannara Chronicles. Fan. I really liked this. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like this a lot, and I think this could be a good move for them because Spike, <laughs> I think you can get away with um, with a lot more than you can on MTV, right? Yeah, like, I mean, it's, it's all part of this Paramount network. I mean, it's all right. owned by the same company. But yeah, they're moving everything to Spike. The Mist we reviewed a while back, and the Mist, Stephen King's adaptation was not good. Yeah, but was, Star Chronicles already has a season behind its belt. Yeah. They already have showrunners. It's the same showrunners. So they already have a great fan they base. They already have a great fan base. Mm -hmm. I like it. I mean, it's cast like, I mean, these people are just gorgeous. I mean, it's cast like a CW show. Yeah. I mean, you got Will there, spelled with one L. Austin this Butler. is Will, W I L. Uh, you have Ivana Baccaro there, the young lady in the top left corner. Now, you may look yeah. at her and be like, man, she looks really familiar. You know who that is? Did you mm. ever see Pan's Labyrinth? Is that the little girl? That's the little no. girl. That's Ophelia. All oh, grown yes. up. I she remember you telling up. me that. Yeah, she oh, I can yeah. yeah, I she looks see hella cool. She in this is too. pretty, pretty good. Yeah, so Badass. she's in there too. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty it, it's fun. I mean, it's very <laughs> teen angsty. I mean, it feels like it's a CW show. But I enjoyed it. It's fun. Yeah, I enjoy it's, fun. it's like light fun action yeah. fantasy. Like this would be like my dream show to be on. I mean, Sinead, like, you could be in one of these shows right here. Yeah. Why don't they hire you? Fly you out to New Zealand, shoot that show. That's all you should do. Yeah, yeah. So, practically mm -hmm. called the Sinead Chronicles. <laughs> <laughs> they just got a couple letters wrong, but, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's coming out uh, on October 11th. If you want to catch up with the Shannara Chronicles, uh, it's on Netflix right now. You can stream uh, the first season on Netflix. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. All right. So uh, are we moving right along? Let's move on. We're, Let's keep going. Yeah. Rolling. I love it. All <laughs> <Keep> right. <moving. laughs> AMC's uh, premium streaming service, Shudder, has mm -hmm. just acquired the first window rights to the critically acclaimed French sci-fi series, Missions. This trailer is so gorgeous. It is shot so beautifully. The music is haunting. This yeah. looks amazing. I don't know what the hell they were saying. Nope. My French is not good enough to just English watch a trailer. A little bit of English. Like, yeah, like mm -hmm. three sentences. But mm -hmm. um, this looks amazing. And this is going to be on Shudder on September 28th. What did you guys think of this? I thought this looked so cool. Being Sinead. <laughs> I mean, Sinead, I know you're maybe, you know, are you fluent in French? Did you understand what was uh, being said? No, not at all. <laughs> um, I mean, it looks good, mm -hmm. right? But you guys, I don't know. Like, it sounds, it sounds so bad and basic for me to say this, but like, there's only so much TV I can handle at one point. Oh, I yeah, I relate. And I yeah. feel like the struggle I'm, is real. I'm seriously hitting a wall. Like I, <laughs> it's not even the fall yet. I know. It's I not know. Even the fall. I know. It's, 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 it might like, be the oh early anxiety God. setting in. Yeah. Because I know what's coming. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'm seriously hitting a wall. But you know what? Like FX me. I will talk about this till the day I die. FX the 2017, 2016, 2017 season for FX was absolutely freaking incredible. So it's like now. Everything has to measure up to that. Yeah, because mm -hmm. they everything. killed it. They killed it on every level. Every level. Every, genre, every single yeah. show I watched, every single episode of every show I watched, I, I at least enjoyed. Like, it, there was never a time where I was like, that sucked. Like, literally. Yeah. Um, yeah. And there was a couple shows I, I just didn't watch, couldn't get into, but everything that appealed to me, I enjoyed. So, I don't know. It, this is a lot. This is very heavy. Well, I just, I don't know where I'm going to fit it in. It's interesting. Like, again, I don't speak <laughs> French. So, I mean, and, and the, if you go online, type in missions trailer, and it should be like one of the top two results that come in on YouTube. Um, I don't speak French, but I got the gist that 
basically the French want to be the first to get to Mars. Right. right. There's a lot of people competing to get to Mars. There's a British guy who I think who's narrating. You hear him speak a few times. So I think you know he's speaking English. I'm guessing we're going to have some subtitles and not subtitles mm-hmm. to the United States. But it looks it is beautifully shot. Yeah. It, looks I mean, it looks like, like a film. It, it looks like um uh. What's the Matt Damon movie? That, uh, the Martian. The Martian. Yeah. It looked like The Martian. I was like, wow, this looks like a high-end budget. So I'm excited to see the show. I didn't even know AMC had a streaming service called Show. I didn't either. I'm not really this. even sure how to watch it, right. but I know what it's coming it? now. I, I mean, it's coming to the States. <laughs> What's so we're the gonna, internet? I know. What are we like, doing where's here? Where do you how do we this? work this? I will say that the <clears> plot is very original. Like, it's not something that we've seen in a little while. Like, mm-hmm. there's been a lot of space. So props to them just for coming up with a show that is different but still yeah. captures space. Yeah, I'm definitely excited about this. Uh, I am also, speaking of excited, I am very excited. Last night, you know, we had these text chains, these uh, famous text chains that you hear about. So, of <laughs> course, I had somebody tweet at me, like, hey, David, you know, the tick's out right now on Amazon. I'm like, wait, the tick comes out tomorrow. But I looked on my on my Amazon account. I'm like, oh, no, it's available to 25th. watch now. Yeah. Oh, So, Grace, shit. what are we going to talk about next? We're going to talk about the tick yes. on Amazon Prime Video. <laughs> which, by the way, fun fact, there is a tick Snapchat filter today, which I found Woo! rather funny. Oh. I haven't seen it yet. Um, but, yeah, so we watch, we all watch at least the first two episodes. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought this was so, like, silly and refreshing, and I mm-hmm. super enjoyed it. And I was kind of like, ugh, like, I don't care. And then I watched it, and I was like, Okay, this is funny. Like, mm-hmm. it was so endearing. I really liked it. I thought it was great. I mean, it harkens back to the old school uh, comic books, like the Silver Age, or I guess maybe even go, maybe even further, maybe the Golden Age of comics, when it's just, it was just lighthearted fun. I mean, we just got done watching The Defenders, which I enjoyed The Defenders, but it's a lot of brooding, a lot of heaviness, and all this. And sometimes comics, comic book characters can just be fun and yeah. silly. And this yeah. is great. It's six episodes, 25 minutes per episode. You and can they fly, fly by. Yeah. Peter Serafinowicz. Yeah is so good so as funny. the tick. I mean, he's I mean, he's great in Guardians of the Galaxy. Anything that he's in, he's good, but he's especially good in this. So yeah. I, I love the relationship he has with his, his young sidekick. Mm-hmm. You yeah, know, with who, Arthur. He's with Arthur. so good. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's silly. And there's, there's this villain that, because of her, they call her Lint, because of her, all of her like uh, electric energy, <laughs> like, like all, the <laughs> all the lints attracted to her. So, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely digging this. I, I, I can't recommend the tick enough. It's so good. I remember it was when we first watched the Amazon yeah. pilots. David and I were the only two in the panel that really stuck st- uh, stuck up for the show. Yeah, you know, well, because you and I weren't that as into Jean Claude Van Johnson, Johnson, right? But we loved this one. But we loved this mm-hmm. one, and one of the reasons why I loved this one is because it knows what it is. It's a mm-hmm. show about a tick superhero. How serious can you be? So, like mm-hmm. you said, right. it should it should be twenty five minutes. Yep. It should fly by. It should be endearing. It should be silly. It should be fun. And I think they nailed it perfectly. I think casting is one hundred percent on point yeah. when it comes to him because he's got this like it's like I don't even know how to explain it like he's not stupid it's just like he's he's, kind, he's like this adorable like naive he's naive, about yeah. naive yeah. Yeah. you know he's naive but he's still like a good guy mm-hmm. like and I like that or a good tick and I love that <laughs> like I love that they just they know what it mm-hmm. is they they're not trying to make it something crazy or whatever or not even right. trying to like really stretch you know it could be super over the top and still be fun but it's actually just like grounded and knows what it is. And I really, I really enjoy watching this. I feel like I could easily finish the whole season, like in a couple yeah, and days. Yeah, I think six episodes is kind of like a great, that's great. Mm-hmm. It's perfect. Like, I don't think it needs more than that. Perfect. Like, it's not where you're going to be like, oh, there's more. You're like, Meh, I like that. Well, so I say, like, the streaming stopped. services can take more chances on this because they do smaller seasons. Yeah. It's right. big, the budget's smaller. Well, it's, a, it's yeah. just so you much cheaper to things. produce, you yeah. know? So it's cool that they can try things like this. Mm-hmm. Watch the tick. Watch Do the it. Take. Watch the take. On it's Amazon, great. Yeah. all six episodes mm-hmm. are up now. So next, it's Friday, and you all know what this means. We're gonna go to Shinasty Hi. with the Shinopsis. There oh. she is. She, oh. you're, you're Sansa this week. Oh, you're Sansa. Ooh, I do Ooh, not like want to be. I do not want to be redhead bitch this week. <laughs> <laughs> Maisie is on some other <laughs> shit. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. So, you guys ready? I'm ready. Yes. First of all, let me just say, this episode was. Freaking amazing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was so good. I was like, oh shit, what's ha- something is happening inside of me. After I got done watching, I was like, I was like, fuck. Like, oh my God. My sister walks in. My sister walks in. She goes, Why are you smiling to yourself? Because I was writing my notes and I was like, she's like, <laughs> she's like, you look like a loser. And I was like, I actually re- I really enjoyed this episode. All right, good. <clears throat> All right. 
This must be what they meant by winter is coming because Team Jon Snow looks cold as fuck. The claws are coming out and it's an all-on girl fight going down between Redhead Bitch and Maisie Williams. Maisie's got the secret paper and she's like, ooh, you scared, sister? Uh, Redhead Bitch is definitely scared. She looks like she's about to shit a brick. All right, Team Jon Snow is walking again. They're walking, they're walking. Peter Dinklage and Daenerys are having a fireside chat. Peter Dinklage tells Danny that Jon's in love with her and she's like, oh my God, what? No, he's not. Tell me more. And back to walking. Oh my God, okay, something's happening. Something's happening. What is that? What is that? Dinosaur! Never mind, it's a bear. That makes more sense since Grandpa's adopted kid just said the bears have blue eyes. This bear is on some other shit. He just straight up bitch slapped that guy. All right, he did. Redhead bitch (laughs) is meeting with her life coach to tell him that her sister is a psychopath. And back to walking. (laughs) Walking, walking. All right, things are happening again. I swear to God if it's another cracked out bear. Nope, just cracked out people. Well, aren't we in a little bit of a pickle here? Team Jon Snow plus one zombie are surrounded, and this is when I would shit a brick. Hold up, that guy has fire powers? I swear that could have been more useful. (laughs) Patiently waiting for Dragon, the dragon, to show up. Back to Winterfell, redhead bitch is trying to get out of going to Cersei's party, and finally somebody is on to Shady Life Coach. Peter Dinklage is trying to convince Daenerys to stay put, but... But Daenerys is a hero, so she's going to save the boys. All right, homie who threw the rock should definitely die first. Right? Ah, fuck. We got zombies popping out of the water now. It's a full-on zombie fight. Oh, no, that guy just fell into the zombie pit. R.I.P. Oh, my God, it's about damn time. Yes, dragon, light their asses up. John's like, get out of my way, trying to watch my lady at work. Dragon down, dragon down, Jon Snow down. Daenerys is having a major personal struggle, eh, but she leaves. I don't know who the fuck this guy is, but he just sacrificed himself for Jon, and I love him. And now he's dead. Jon's good, though, and he comes riding in like the stallion that he is. Oh, my God, redhead bitch just pulled Filch's face out of Maisie's purse, and she's like, what the fuck? And now she's really going to shit a brick. And naked Jon wakes up and tells Daenerys he's sorry, but also... Told you so. Fucking kiss him already. He doesn't need rest. We all know what he needs. Holy shit. Yeah, we do. The zombies Mm -hmm. just got themselves a dead dragon pet. Wait, wait. Zombie dragon? Can they do that? Oh, hell yeah, they can do that. Show's over. Yay. (laughs) I was super, honestly, I was super freaking stoked. This is when everything changed. When I saw the zombies pulling on that chain, I was like, wait a second. They're zombies. That means that they probably have that dragon underneath those chains. That's clearly what they're dragging. Mm-hmm. And they're going to wake that dragon up. And yeah. when he wakes up, it's going to be like the walking dead. You're going to wake up, and you're going to be a zombie. And when the guy walked up to him, I, and they were, like, going up, I thought they were going to cut it before. And mm. I was like, Game of Thrones is, like, beyond, like, you know, that yeah. last look. Mm-hmm. They're like, they're not going to show him opening his eyes like this is and in Twilight. Like, no! Remember in Twilight when she opens her eyes at the end? I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Game of Thrones is so beyond that. So then I'm just, like, sitting there, like, this, like literally I was like oh my god oh my god oh my god and the dragon opened his eyes and its eyes were blue and I literally was like ah I like, know. <laughs> oh my god and I'm just I'm so excited fuck did I ruin my life by starting season seven yeah what is yeah. happening now you have welcome, to watch welcome. all the other episodes I know I know when they I didn't I all those fans are like saw... we fucking told you so Shane. yeah that's right <laughs> we knew you were gonna regret this I know, me too. I'm like, this is the. And the sad thing is, we only have one more synopsis of the season I next know, Friday. But maybe I can finish all, all of the other seasons. All seasons. of the movies. Just binge next uh, but weekend. yes, you guys, I don't know. You guys got to tell me what you thought really quick because I know you talked about it already, but I loved this episode. I mean, yeah, no, I loved this episode. I was super, I love the hound. I adore the hound. He's one of my favorite actors on the show, he's one of my favorite characters. Mm-hmm. And when he threw that damn rock, I was like, what you doing? Like, why would you? No. And then so that, dumb. and I didn't see the dragon coming until I saw the chain. And then I was like, oh, 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 no, oh, no, no. And then I literally was just screaming. Yeah. Like, I thought it was so good. Yeah, I can't yeah. wait for so Sunday. Cool. I think that's what I'm excited about. I'm just thinking about the future when the dragons are going to be dual, you know, fighting screwed. each other. We're I mean, so screwed. We still have We're two. We're all going to lose. Like, I say heart, we like I'm on the side. Your like, heart's going to you know. go out to zombie dragon, too. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure Daenerys and is like going to be. That one little dragon and him were like buddies. I know. It was, it was so like sad. It was like really crying. Like, screw you guys. But He's like crying so hard when he died. Yeah, yeah. It was terrible. It was horrible. It was so sad. The finale's going to be crazy. It's so the longest good. episode we've ever had. Almost, but well, almost an hour and 20 minutes. 79 minutes long. Almost, almost an hour and 20 minutes. So Woo! stay tuned for Sunday. <laughs> I know. I know. I can't uh, wait. I'm screwed, man. I got to watch like six seasons of mm-hmm. Game of Thrones. <laughs> I gotta go, you guys. Let's wrap this up because I gotta start. (laughs) (laughs) All right, let's go. You need to like start, like, yeah, it's horrible. Um, 
All Ooh. right, so we're going to go over to some uh, Twitter questions. Woo. Oh, you know, I kind of like this one. Um, at Andy Gilly 14 says, uh, hello, guys. Hello. 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 Um, what are the best TV shows of 2017 so far? Ooh. I, like I have to throw Mr. Mercedes in there because Mr. Mercedes I'm adoring is great. that show. Was Adam, Adam, was Taboo this year? Was Taboo last year? I, like I think Taboo that was, was last, last year. year. Taboo was last year. Um, that show I, I recommend on the Great British Breakdown, The State, about these four British people who join ISIS. And yeah, you get it from we their perspective on Channel 4. It's a very controversial show, but it's a very good show. It's very well done. I can't done. remember what it's very came good. out this year and what came out um, last year. I know it's, it's so hard to do my list every year. Uh, Better Call Saul is always one of the better shows every time it comes out. Better Call Saul is fantastic. I know you know, that's, I that's not a new show, but it's very good. I still have region. not watched Better Call Saul because I'm not emotionally mm -hmm. prepared to go back to the world of Breaking Bad yet because it's like yeah. one of my favorite shows, mm -hmm. and I like still haven't years. done it. I can't. I'm not emotionally prepared. Just do I it. I mean, I always recommend Fargo. <laughs> Fargo came out this year. Oh, Fargo's Fargo, always yeah. good. Not a new show, but still a great show. How come it's a, was, it says Legion was 2017? Am I crazy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think Legion, Legion. was early. That's it was. I mean, we're already... It's going to be September soon. Oh, my gosh. That's right. It's almost in September. Yeah. For some reason, I feel like it's only been like four months. But yeah, Legion's gotta be on there, mm -hmm. right? Oh yeah. And then, uh, Feud dope. was also this Feud year. Feud was great. Yeah, Feud was good on Ooh. FX. It's a good show. Poldark coming in hot. <laughs> Poldark, <laughs> Poldark's Where's always little... good. Uh, yeah! There it is. <laughs> Poldark pump up. Poldark's always good. I missed that. What is that? What's the Poldark pump up? I don't know. I don't it was know. just we there. Just just, I, I mentioned Poldark up. one day and it just looked, I mean, <laughs> There it is. It just kind of kind of came up. It's and then when you see yeah. it, we just scream and clap, and it's fine. Yeah, I don't sure. know why, but that's what we do. <laughs> like, there he is! We I don't know it. why! Um, um, also, Big Little Lies was this year. Big Little oh, Lies was good. That's that right. was awesome. Yeah. It took me a while to watch it. When I did, mm -hmm. I was like like horrified at myself for waiting like a month. Yeah, watch Big Little Lies. I didn't think I was going to like it, one. and then I watched it, I and then I loved it. But I didn't watch it for like a while because I was like, I'm not going to like this. I loved Atypical. On Netflix. Oh, I haven't watched Atypical that Atypical is very good. It's a short, you get like 10 episodes, I think. Ten, eight or 10 episodes, half hour comedy. Mm -hmm. If we're talking yeah. just like based on, doesn't have to, at like not premieres, but like you said, right. like new seasons and stuff like mm -hmm. that. 2017 season, um, The Leftovers was freaking Leftovers, fantastic. Yep. Mm -hmm. The best season so far. And Definitely. it was just like every episode was incredible. Mm -hmm. Also, like d documentary wise, uh, The Keepers on Netflix was really Keepers was is really a hard watch. Brutal, hard one to watch. Brutal, brutal, but good. Yeah. Um, but yeah. And I totally just like took it down to a really dark place. Like, so I thought that. Uh, but we have time for one more. So I'm going to go with uh, at Monk1045. How does binging a show, how does having to binge a show in order to review it affect your enjoyment? Depends on what show it is. Yeah. You know, because yeah. there are some shows that are meant to be, they're binge worthy shows. So that's fine. You're, you don't mind, you know, like I could have binged all of the tick, you know, mm -hmm. I could have binged all the tick. Yeah, that's like a about perfect it. bingey one. Like, right. Like that's what I'm saying. But then when we had to review um, Iron Fist, uh, I had zero time. I remember that week. It's brutal, and it's hard too. It was because, really hard. I mean, as a, I mean, I call myself a critic, and I, I try to be as objective as possible. If you're watching something, and all of you can, whether, no matter what you do in life, can relate to this. If you watch entertainment, if you don't like something, it can kind of start weighing on you a little bit. Yeah. And then most of the time, if it's not your job, you just drop it. You're like, I don't want to watch it anymore. Right. But for us, like, and we, and woe is us. I mean, we have, we have to review <laughs> Iron Fist. Life is so hard. For like in a two day period, watching 13 hours uh -huh. of something I didn't like, I was upset. Yeah. Josh yeah. doesn't like Westworld. You, you can see Josh's anger every time he talks about Westworld. He hates it. He doesn't binge right. it, but he hates it. Um, but he watches it so he can engage in conversation with us. Right. So it can weigh on you after a while. Well, yeah, because, yeah, I mean, time is the most precious thing yeah. on the planet. And the time that I gave to The Last Tycoon is time I will not get back. Right. Yeah, yeah. I, only, I, I only watch the pilot. So, I, yeah. I remember, like... Like it was yesterday. I started Iron <laughs> Fist at like 8 a.m. And I watched that entire season that day. It was a Sunday and I wanted to die. Yeah. Because that Monday, Monday was TV talk. Mm -hmm. And I watched the whole thing because obviously it's like, I don't, ha sure, I don't have to watch. I could show up to work unprepared, but then I can't talk about it. And right. that sucks. Yeah. But it's not but fun. Like it you want to be able to like. It was absolutely terrible. I was miserable. Like I was actually noticeably angry when I went to bed. <laughs> I was like, I don't, I can't believe I wasted my entire day. And I was, maybe if I w wouldn't have done that, I actually would have enjoyed it more. So yeah, I definitely think it affects your enjoyment. Yeah. yeah, it definitely depends on the show. I think there's shows that are better served binging because it's something that the next week, if it was airing on like a typical mm -hmm. network system, right. I wouldn't care about. The Tick is a good about. binging show, I think. Yeah, yeah exactly. Tick, like yeah. if I had to wait a week for another 25 minutes, I'd mm -hmm. probably like peter out because right. I have other things to do. But uh, yeah, but sometimes I also don't know what it felt like to not have to watch a show. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I can't right. remember the last time I just watched a show because I wanted to watch a show. You know yeah. what I mean? Right. Which is fine. I'm not complaining, but I don't really know 
It oh, is because all those yonder well, years ago. We're, and, and again, I'm not complaining because I'm very happy with what we get to do here at Collider. But yeah, when you are watching something now, when I watch something, I'm thinking back in my head. Okay, how am I going to break this down? How am right. I going to discuss oh, it? Oh yeah, I'm, like not, I'm not just analytical. sitting there casually watching a show. Right. I can't do that. Yeah, yeah, you're like, okay, well, aside the, from the people talking, what is the background yeah. look like? You know, like who's, I know what I'm who's directed this? Who's wrote? Oh, David E. Kelly did that. David E. Kelly did Big Little Lies. Oh yeah, all this stuff. Yeah. But I also think if I tried to not watch a show like that, I'd be like, this is boring. Okay, one thing. One thing. The next thing we're doing are. Day. Um, that I don't have to think too much about. I don't have to review. We'll talk about it on Monday, but I'm not that worried about it. Is the Conor McGregor Floyd Money Mayweather fight? Oh my of, God! Look at this graphic. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Great graphic, oh, Ray. Amazing. Good job, Ray. Good Cersei job, Ray. Is not impressed. So as you see that photo, you're like, wait, why is game? What does Game of Thrones have to do? There are two major entertainment spectacles going yeah. on this weekend. Yeah. One of them, of course, is the biggest fight of all time, at least in terms of pay per view buys. Floyd Money Mayweather versus Conor McGregor. Very exciting in Las Vegas. That's on Saturday night, but don't sleep. Don't sleep, people, because on Sunday, we have the Season 7 Game of Thrones finale, which is going to be huge, too. So my question to Grace and Sinead, Mm -hmm. what is going to be the most talked about event in the office on Monday? Will more people (laughs) be talking about that fight on Saturday night? Or the Game of Thrones. Oh, this might be the hardest finale. question you've ever asked. Us I mean, what's going to dominate it, the water cooler in, in or this coffee office? Machine? In this office, it might be like a 50 50. Yeah, it's a lot of like. Because Dennis is a big fighting fan. Ken is a huge fighting, fighting fan. And everybody loves those fights. I'm, I'm, I'm a big I'm, I'm having a party in my yeah, house yeah, tomorrow. Like, into yeah, it. I'm I hosting the fight. Yeah. yeah, I didn't really realize that people were actually super into those fights until I started <clears> working at Collider. I was yeah. also like a baby, but you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, "What? You guys watch people fight? Like, what are you talking about?" Yeah. I know. I mean, I didn't understand. I mean, this isn't wrestling. This is actual like fighting. Yeah, but when I went UFC. to Monday Night Raw, I was like, "Oh, I'm totally in." So now I'm wrestling's like, huge too. Even WWE. I mean, yeah. it's not. Yeah, that's huge too. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but, but like not this that, right? compared to Monday Night Raw. Monday Night Raw is like no. they rehearsed for it that right. morning. <laughs> this is like. I will kill you if mm-hmm. it comes to I that. Know. It's like actually stressful. And it it's is huge. Stressful. And, it's, and like the Super Bowl. I wouldn't enjoy watching this. Right. Because like the Super Bowl, whether you're into sports or not, it's one of those things like even if you don't, especially if you're in the States, it's like, well, I'm going to go to a Super Bowl party. Right. Because there's food, there's alcohol, and there's friends. Also and it's, FOMO. Yeah. You don't, I mean, you don't yeah, you're going to, right. You don't want to miss <laughs> yeah. out. So you're going to, you want to be a part of the conversation. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I think this is going to be like a Super Bowl. Absolutely. Thankfully, they're doing it on Saturday night, which is when most fights, big fights yeah. take place, I or mean, Friday night, my not when Game of Thrones comes Africa, on. Or they said they're yeah. staying up till 3 a.m. Yeah. to watch it. So oh, it's, really? Wow. This, yeah. is, this is global, you guys. So which, what, what are you more excited to see? Yeah. Are you excited about the fight? Are you excited about Chelsea versus Everton on Sunday morning <laughs> in the U.K.? Or are you more excited about Game of Thrones on Sunday? Let us know, please. <laughs> Go Chelsea. And then we will report back yes. on Monday and see who uh, cared more about what. So anyway, guys, that's going to be it for us this Friday. Sinead, where can the beautiful people find you? I'm online at Sinead DeFries and at that's Sinead.com. I will be here next Friday. I was like, will I be here at the end of the time? No, I will not. Where are any of us? What is life? And who? And this this fine gentleman, Hello. where can the people find you? You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Griffin D. I was just on Movie Talk with Sinead like 30 minutes ago. Yeah, I um, watched that too. Please come over. I'm hosting the fight on Saturday night, so that's an open invitation for everybody. Uh, <laughs> uh, about Party that. David. Yeah, um, and also I'll be back here on Monday, of course, talking about the yeah. fight, talking about the Game of Thrones season finale. So, yeah, I'm excited. He's a good man. It's a busy he's, weekend. He's here all the time. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I'm your host. I'm Grace Hancock, guys. Uh, we are here live every weekday at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Be sure to tune in. And remember, pick up the book. Shit. Yeah. Put pick down up the, the book. book. That's right, Grace. That's right. You pick up that book, girl. Woo. What have you done? Woo! What I'm have so you done? Sorry. Uh, we're going to just. <laughs> fuck it. We'll do it live. Put down the yeah, what the? Put, put down the button. Pick up the remote. <laughs> hey guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.